Hi, my name is Shelley, and today we're going to measure the crown rump length in a first trimester pregnancy. Dating ultrasound any time after about six weeks menstrual age is really important because number one, it helps us establish a due date, and number two, we can then monitor growth throughout the pregnancy. So in order to perform a crown rump length, we're going to place the scanner and locate our little fetus here. And what I like to do is zoom. So I'm going to pinch zoom the image and we're gonna locate this little one here. So we can kind of make out a little head as well as the body and we can see some motion and some heart motion as well. Baby's jumping around here. So once the baby starts moving, we'll get coronal view, freeze the image, go into the measurement package and select crown rump length. I'm gonna place a caliper at the crown of the head as well as the rump and I'm getting the crown rump length displayed at the top left as well as the corresponding gestational age. And we can see that that corresponds well with the uh, due date that we've already entered. So we can take an image of that, it'll be stored in the report. And we'll do one more and average the two. From the rump to the crown, I'm gonna make a fine adjustment here and we're getting exactly the same measurement, almost 24 millimeters. So there we have it, a crown rump length with an gestational age estimate of nine weeks, one day.